Well, new this morning, climate change has many Americans taking steps to reduce their carbon footprint. The smallest of changes can make a big difference, but there are some homeowners who really go that extra mile. MTN's Katie Alexander has the story. When you think solar energy, sunny locations like Arizona, New Mexico, and Southern California come to mind. But Montana fares pretty well compared to more southerly spots. In, in Helena, we have a, a average peak sunlight day of 4.7 hours. That compares uh, pretty much exactly to Houston, Texas. Mark and Kathy Judeman know this from firsthand experience. The couple say that living on solar energy has been a goal of theirs for years, and with careful planning, it's a dream they've finally turned into a reality. For us primarily, I think it was to make sure that we were paying attention to the environment. We lived in New Orleans for quite a while, and we actually flooded, our house flooded in Katrina. So we've really had our you know, eyes opened about the impact of of changing weather. Before installing the panels, the Judamans took steps to make their home more energy efficient. We've reduced our energy consumption considerably with LED bulbs and insulation and uh, Energy Star appliances and things like that. And they use apps to help them know which appliances are hogging the most energy. Actually monitor uh, on, in real time our energy consumption and the devices that are operating. And while solar panels are pricey up front, they pay for themselves in the long run. Solar Montana owner Jack Isbell says that the technology has become increasingly affordable in recent years. Homes that we couldn't have installed solar on because the paybacks really weren't viable um, 10 years ago, now we're doing all the time. You make this investment, it takes a bit of time to pay out, but the sun is going to be shining after it pays out and then you get a, a return on and on and on. And although Mark and Kathy say that they've noticed a huge reduction in their monthly energy bill, that's not their favorite thing about living on solar energy. So we understand the data and, um, and what's happening as a result of, of carbon emissions. So we really wanted to take, um, take a stand and, and do what's right to preserve uh, the state that we live in doing what they can for a brighter future. In Helena, I'm thrilled, thrilled to have solar. Katie Alexander, MTN News. The Judamans also mentioned that they have plans to install solar panels at their ranch.